On today's episode of Mummy's Boy, I find out what my mum's favourite emoji is. And I find out what a sleep fluencer does. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss an episode. It's Mummy's Boy. Hello and welcome to Mummy's Boy with me, Arthur Hill, and my adorable and foolhardy mother. Alicia, 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 I am foolhardy from Mexico. I don't know what foolhardy means. Oh. Um, oh, producer Jack, why do you do this to me? Foolhardy is somebody who is sort of um, blithely going into things without thinking of the consequences. Recklessly bold or rash. Wow. Or indeed recklessly bold or rash. Which is sort of what I said. Is it? Did I get that right? Mm. I quite like to be foolhardy on occasion. I have a recklessly bold rash. Have you? Where no, is it? I don't. I don't. On your nether regions. Uh, I don't know why I said Deep that. down, I've <laughs> always been a mummy's boy at heart. In this weekly podcast, I get to spend some quality time with mum and receive some much needed advice that only a mother can give. But mm. sometimes my mum needs help too. TikTok, viral videos, celebrities, social media and all that stuff. <laughs> They're all things which my poor mum just cannot get her head around. Mm. So I'm here to help her before this modern world leaves her behind. Not only want I help her unravel the mysteries of youth... And bring her into the digital age. I'll also be making Lisa's motherly wisdom available to all of you as well. So if you're in need of advice or even just have a question or story that you're desperate for me and Arthur to read, slide into the DMs on socials at Mummy's Boy Pod or send us a message or even a voice note to WhatsApp on 07822 013837. And no matter what the issue I will ask her in a feature I like to call Mum, Can We Talk? Oh, I think we oh, should. Can we talk? Uh, well, here we are. <laughs> here we are. Hello. Hello. Hello, Chuck. Oh, hello. How are you? Good. We're matching. Yes. I haven't. Well, yes. We are matching, which reminds me, actually, I had my first. Matcha, matcha oh coffee the other day. Did you? Yeah, I feel like one of the girls. Why? Do only girls drink matcha? In my head, yes. What exactly is it? I don't know, but it's green. It's green. And apparently it's like, the reason I tried it is because apparently it's like slower. Did you leave the, your piece of dark chocolate on the... Yes, I just said I'm going to put it over there for later. That's a mad place to put it, right? Sorry, I don't, you guys well, no, can't see. No, because I thought if it was here, it would melt the under table, the lights. Or and like, it would, or just it like would melt there. Some, like some kind of thing, not just on like a plastic box, like raw chocolate. I mean raw chocolate? Well, just like, quite safe how, sitting there. Dusty and like, how many hands are on that? That is mental. It looks well, like I'm someone's like done a you like see? rabbit poo over there or something. It's not rabbit poo and I'm foolhardy and I don't care. Right, and I'm okay. looking forward to having it later. You My put the fool in foolhardy. You. I really do. Thank you. Anyway. Good choice of word from producer Jack for today. Matcha. Yes, matcha is green and it's slow what? Apparently like when you have coffee, hmm. it like it spikes very quickly and then you have a crash. Right. Whereas apparently matcha... You just I sort see. of slowly rise into that buzz and it lasts longer. I thought matcha was tea. Isn't matcha tea? Could be, but it definitely... Or am I thinking, oh, maybe I'm thinking of cha chai. What's the difference between chai I don't and know. matcha? Maybe it's a matcha chai. Matcha I don't chai. know. So what exactly is matcha? I assume yeah, it's some sorry, kind of... Sorry, you just tried to answer that, but plant. you failed. It's a tea leaf. It's a tea leaf. Oh, it is a tea leaf. I was right. Mm. Oh, it's a oh, finely a ground powder of specially grown and processed green tea leaf. So you're putting tea in coffee? No, no, I don't think so. You just said you had a matchka coffee. Is that not what you said? At a the what beginning? coffee? A matchka? Match <laughs> I don't you, know if it's... Did, you not say, did he not say? No, I think I said it. You just I said just you had a matcha. comparing it to coffee, yeah. I think. Oh, I see. Oh, sorry. I think but it's... they are called like matcha oh. lattes, aren't they? Uh, yeah, I think in terms oh. of like caffeine amount it's closer to coffee than normal tea yeah oh okay oh i mean 
oh, what a world we live in. I know. I just have decaf tea. I'm a bit of dull. Don't drink coffee. Do you remember when I had a coffee in here once? I went absolutely bonkers, didn't I? Yeah, crazy. Could not control myself. Is that a... I don't think it does anything for, for me anymore. I don't know. Maybe you should... Well, maybe you don't need it, Arthur. I do do like pre-workout in the morning. That gets me... That makes my head fizz. You do a pre... Like I literally feel like a hedgehog when I do that. You do a pre-workout. What's a pre-workout? Oh, God. <sighs> I'm sorry. It's like... What's a... It's like just something you take before you go and work out to give you energy. But like short, oh, short term. But it's like very strong. So I don't think I approve of all this. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? Well, everyone seems to be taking something in order to do something else. Why can't you just go and do that thing? Why do you need to... I don't know. Can't you just go and have a nice walk? And do what? a few press ups as you wander past. No, I'm not going to do that in November. Because it's lovely out. I had a lovely walk today. Well, but I'm not going to just like do press ups on the street of London. Like, what no, kind of... but in a park or something. Like... No, but why do you have to have something first? I just, I'm oh, sorry. Because no, I'm just if you haven't noticed, my age. I've not been sleeping very well. Oh, and I oh, want oh. to do a workout and I don't have the energy. I see. What's wrong with that? Maybe you should do your workout just before you go to bed. That's also or like stupid. An hour no, it isn't. Yes, wait it a minute. Is. No. If you did it. It is. Wait. If you did it. <laughs> if you did it and got really knackered and then obviously you need to, you know, um, uh, decompress. No, exercise or like the releases is. like endorphins. I, and... Yes. I, that's why I'm saying then you need to decompress and sit down and watch something nice and calming on the television like spooks as long as colin hasn't just been done in uh, that's yeah um spoiler alert yeah wow oh um, my god getting that that was funny getting that text from you in the middle of the week mm. arthur texted his mummy actually it wasn't just me it was charlotte and daddy as well actually, yeah let's get people let's stop arguing i'm gonna just park that i wasn't arguing no you were annoying me well that's not the same thing is it arthur yeah hmm you were making stupid statements. Was I? Yes. Right. Because I'm too tired to work out in the evening. You know. Right. But you're not tired enough to really get a good night's sleep. That's, so that's, not, why that's I not, suggested... That is not true. That's not how it works. Right. Okay. It's not to do with how... It's not like, it's not like I'm not tired. That's not why I'm not sleeping. I okay. am tired and no, I'm it's still not sleeping. Actually, I've been doing... A bit, I, what? Hypnopompic. Wasn't that the word? Hypnopompic and hypnopompic oh, right. yeah. or something? But I've actually Flip been sleeping better. Hooray! Hallie, blimmin' Luya. Well, not the last two days, but that's because. Well, that's because you've been out and about Paris doing silly things. Silly early trains. Yes. Anyway, but stop anyway, arguing and get on with it. Spooks. To anyone who is oh, listening or watching, spooks. this show, nobody knows about this show. Yes, they do. Um, oh, my God. I'm sorry. Oh, God. Sorry. <laughs> No one I know of oh, okay. no, like my age or oh. like similar age okay. I believe knows that. about this show. If they you're should. looking for a show you can, to binge, yeah, I'm watching on every train journey I have at the yep. moment. It's so good. It was like 2004 to 2008 or something. On it was longer nine. than that. It was years. Oh, okay. Oh, 2004 <laughs> onwards. <laughs> Shall I just disagree with absolutely yeah. everything you say today? And it's like... I feel like when I describe it, it'll put you off, but it's like... It's set in MI5. MI5. But it's not like James oh, Bond type MI5. It's, it's like real. realistic. Yes. Like it really feels like that's how they would actually do stuff. Yes. And it's really interesting and cool and very easy to oh, watch. And you get well, not easy so, to watch, but... You get so involved. Yeah, you get into it. But if you're squeamish, the first episode's a bit freaky. Ooh, don't you remember? Head. Head in the... Spoilers. I know. That's why I didn't say any more. It's also not even close to being the first episode. It is the very first episode. It's not. Yes, it is. Yes, it's it not. is. It is. It's not. It is. It's in the first season. No, it's in the first episode. It's not. There's a new There's a new recruit in that episode. For anybody who doesn't want a spoiler, <laughs> skip 15 seconds. Lisa, tell us what it is and I'll verify it. So in the very first episode, the new person gets their head stuffed in the deep fat fryer. 
in the very first no. episode. Yes, they do. Uh, ask Charlotte. She knows. No, because it's the bloke Can from it, Essex. Well, I can't remember that because like I haven't Essex, seen like... it for about 15 years. But I can't remember who it was. But whoever it is in the first episode gets their head shoved in the deep fat fryer. If she's right about this, I'm walking off. I'm just look looking. And sure. if I'm wrong about this, I'm going to be really upset. Oh, look at look at <laughs> producer <laughs> Jack's Jody, face. So let me just remind me who's saying it's the first episode. I'm saying it's the first episode. That and this what are you occurs. saying, Arthur? I'm I'm just saying it's not. I think it's the first season. It's season one, episode two. <laughs> Damn and blast you all! <laughs> yes. <Damn>. Yes. <laughs> oh, sweet victory taste. The episode of Spooks wow. where a character's head is forced into a deep fryer is titled Looking After Our Own, and that is episode two of season one. Oh, bloody yes. hell. Okay. All right. I graciously concede. Well, oh. Not very graciously. But anyway, everyone Thank should God. watch Spooks. It's bloody brilliant. Yes. Thank How did God. we get there anyway? Don't know. We were arguing Thank about God. something. Oh, sorry. I've got some away time right now because I'm on tour and I'm not really here. Yeah, you're not really here. I'm not are really you? here. No. Um, <laughs> I'm so excited for Bristol tomorrow. <laughs> um, no, we're, this is slightly pre recorded. I haven't gone yet. Yes. But you'll be hearing this. I would have just done an excellent show <gasps> in, we hope. in somewhere in the UK. Um, not somewhere in the UK. Surely that would have, would be, um, oh, I don't know, Birmingham? You're, you're playing Bristol on the 14th. This episode goes out on the 13th. Yeah. So you, you would have done Manchester a few days ago on the okay, 11th. Okay, wow. That was my favourite show so far. That was your favourite show Not Manchester. Not Glasgow either? No, I know. Yeah, Glasgow and Dublin. Um, but Manchester. Manchester is currently the number one stream city of my new song. Is it? It's interesting. God, they and can it's, actually find they're that They're always out. a really good crowd. Of course they are. And it's a big, are. big crowd in Manchester, so... Oh. I'm excited for that one. But you're excited for all of them, I'm excited for all of them. Otherwise, you're going to be in deep shit. Yes, I'm excited for every single one. Of course you are. Um, Especially the ones when I'm coming. No. No. How many are you coming to? Actually, only two at the moment. Yeah. I don't think it should be more than that. Don't you? No. Oh. It'd be weird otherwise. Would it? Yeah. I'm coming to London. Come Hooray! on! Yeah, PJ. Lots you'll of be people there. coming to London. Yeah, it's the hottest ticket. It is, isn't in the it? City right now. <laughs> Celebs from so, across the across the globe. Globe. Yeah. 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 I heard that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, God, it's tense this week. <laughs> Let's relax by oh how going on our phones. Oh, really? Well, because last week we. Did our most our screen time? Oh gosh, yes. And did I have less than you? No, but I think you were quite surprised at how long yeah. I did spend on it. Yeah, I was. But and then it was the nowhere near as much. Yeah, as you, and the stuff that but I was let's, on. Let's let's look at our emojis. Emojis. Yeah. So, yes. mum, to find yes. out oh. your most used emojis. Yes. Just go to like, oh no, go and text Jack. Go to text Jack on WhatsApp. Yes. And then they'll just press the emoji button. Do you um, know how to do that? Shut up. And then... Yes. So um, in the frequently used, just yes. pick three of that section which you think are your most frequently used. Oh, okay. And send them to lovely producer Jack. Yeah. Producer Jack. <laughs> Why are you sniggering, PJ? I'm just, um, you just, can go just off laughing at both of your... Your um your top your top emojis. <laughs> of course you are. <laughs> um, so why don't you try and guess guess each other, Arthur? What do you think your mum's most used emojis oh. might be? I'm gonna say. Are we allowed to look for ideas? Yeah. You no, can. you can't look at what I sent you. Just look at no, the emojis. No, no, but look at yeah, the yeah. emojis themselves. Um, Otherwise, I wouldn't know what do you clue. normally use. <laughs> I wouldn't know what's available. I feel like you quite like the. The diagonal, like, crying, laughing. Diagonal? Maybe I've made, yes. I've made that up. That's one of them. Is that That's one of one them? Of the top three. Oh, the diagonal. Oh, okay. Yeah, nice. that is one of mine. I use that one a lot. But outside of that, I don't know what. Oh, um, the 
This one where it's like with the hearts. <laughs> no. no. Close. Close. Kiss. Yeah. Kiss with a heart. heart. Yeah. yeah. Kiss with a heart. One more. There's one more. Um. Why don't you do an impression of it, Lisa? <laughs> 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 Okay, well, it's the <laughs> one with... Is it... Was that a good impersonation? <laughs> is it the, like, winky tongue? Yeah, the winky tongue. Googly eyes with a Go winky tongue sticking googly out. Googly eyes, winky tongue, okay. Yeah. Googly eyes, winkly tongue, winky tongue. Well, you did winky pretty tongue. well. You got two out of three. Yeah, yeah. I'll you did that. very I'll well. Oh, dear, I don't think I'm going to do very well. So, Lisa, what are Arthur's? Okay, so Arthur's... I don't think he's... I don't think he ever sends me emojis when he texts no. me. Well, maybe because he never texts sure. me. Obvious. Um, I would think. I would think none of none of the ones that are even close to my end of the thing are things that you use. None of Arthur's top three are your top three. No, no, that's no. not much of a surprise. How about? Um, <laughs> um, oh dear. How about? Would, uh, would you do a thumbs up? Or is that too naff? I do do a thumbs folk? up. I wouldn't say it's in my top three, no. Oh, bum. Okay, so it's not that. A pint of beer. No, I don't use that much. Oh. Uh, Arthur, why don't you do an impression of one of them? Yes, please. See if your mum can guess. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's put his hands over his eyes and he looks like he's kissing someone. Oh, oh, you're a monkey. Uh, you're a monkey with his hands over his eyes yeah. And, yeah. and things. I've seen him. Yeah. Where is he? <laughs> okay. Wait, and then why are you laughing at me? Next Sophia. one, Lisa. Oh, another one. Oh, a bull. A, a horny bull. Hor horn bull with horns. A cow with horns. Well, something with horns. <laughs> he's he's making very. What are you doing? Um, you're Can looking I... cross. I've just sent it to you. The one he's done. <laughs> Oh, an, oh <laughs> an angry bull. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that funny? Is that what? like a bull to you? It's yes. a fucking devil. It's the devil. <laughs> what do you <laughs> mean an angry bull? It's a purple devil. I mean, devils aren't purple. They're red. Well, neither are bulls. But that's a bulls. very good point. Thank you, Jack. Oh, I wouldn't have got that as a devil, last sorry. Last one, Arthur, do an impression of oh, your last Oh, dear, emoji. I'm not very good at this. Sorry, Arthur. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> um. Can't you do it? N no, wait, didn't we have... Oh, he's looking, oh, he's looking for a prop, everybody. Oh, he's, he's picking up the fruit bowl and, well, that's an aubergine. Yeah, there you go. Hey? Aubergine. An aubergine? Yeah. Are you serious? There's an yeah. emoji of an aubergine. Yeah. No, you're having me I love on. aubergines. There is one of an aubergine. Why would you send that to someone? Oh my like God, aubergines. my life is so dull. I'm going to start sending pictures of vegetables to people. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. Is that a rude one then? Mm. Is that, is that, you know? Those, those what? three are a joke. They're not actually ones that I use. They all mean like as as a sort of collective. <laughs> they're sort of like things you'd send during like a frisky message. Are they? So like the aubergine is the penis. Penis. The devil is like you're horny. Oh. And what was the first the monkey's one? just like I'm shy. Oh, the monkey. Oh, like, I like the little monkey. Wish I was with you right now. Oh, Type stuff. Arthur, you look cute like that. <laughs> or covering my face. <laughs> yes, that could be it. Wow. My actual three. So your actual. Th oh, so none of those were no, real. I would say my oh, actual three so are these three, which we'll quickly do. Oh, really you're easy. so mean. You guess them, okay? Go on. <laughs> okay, the laughy ha ha thing. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah, okay. Oh, the thanks, the hands praying thing. Yeah, and oh, I don't like that one. Oh, is there a saluting salute. one? I love the salute one. Is there a salutey one? Yeah, salute. Oh, mm. I'd use that as well. I'm going to my use favorite, the aubergine and the salute in the future. My favourite emoji is on, oh, is that on my knees. I love that emoji. On my knees? Like uh, like when someone says like they can't, like they're bailing on plans or like. Oh, I see. I just send and them that like I fell to my knees in sadness. Really? Yeah. Oh, I think I need to look at these more. 
That one of the salute just looks like a, a round face with a, a very large ear. God. <clears throat> well, it does. It's very clearly a salute. Well, it isn't because the arm... It is. ...isn't connected in any way. It hasn't got an elbow. It's a fucking emoji. They don't have arms. Well, it, <laughs> it would be better if it... Well, anyway. God. Well... Send Apple a strongly worded email. Well, I think I might. And use monkey emoji and... Aubergine. aubergine and aubergine. And I'm going to start sending all my friends aubergines. Me and the devil. <laughs> oh, you are mean, all of you. I was getting very irritated on the train on the way here, I must say. I d there's something about coming in, because this is an evening. We're here in the evening. Mm. and it's, So it's much busier than it is when I come in during the day. Yeah. Why do people not use headphones? I was surrounded by Don't people they? listening to nonsense on their phones. And I'm trying to read a book. I did a lot of huffing and puffing and tutting. Did and, you? Oh, for heaven's sake. I did, actually. I'm getting braver because I'm like, just shut the fuck up. Turn <laughs> it off. Why wow. do they do it? I thought everyone it's uses headphones. So, no, Maybe I don't notice they were literally. I'm headphones. Well, that's the thing. And I thought, Why okay, you I could put headphones in, but then I'd have to listen to something and then I wouldn't be able to concentrate on my book. Ah. So I was like, I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place. So I just, I'm afraid, did a lot of tutty and eye rolling and mm. old lady acting, but nobody took any notice. Should we, really horrible. Should we maybe like role play me? Oh, God. You're on the tube. Okay. I'm listening to something loudly. I'll tell you what, I'll listen to my song. Oh, no, is that going to get copyrighted? <laughs> we'll listen to an unreleased one that will never come out, shall we? Oh, exclusive. That's, that's exclusive. brave, isn't it? Um, let's see. When I thought I could be Bruno Mars. Just, 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 uh. Okay, oh. so I'm listening to it on the train. Oh. <sighs> oh, for goodness sake. Right, so I won't be reading my book then. Mm. <clears throat> oh, dear God. Right. <clears throat> um, excuse me. Excuse me. Young man. Would you like to borrow my headphones? What was that, love? Would you like to borrow my headphones? No, no, I'm all right. I'm getting off in a couple of stops. It's all right. It's a lovely song, but I wouldn't mind being able to read my book in private, if you wouldn't mind. Or well, should I tell the fucking train to shut up as well then, shall I? Well, the rest the brakes, of the... So the brake's not annoying you. Thank What's a bit you. more noise to you, love? Oh, dear Fucking God. Karen. Fu fucking Tory Karen. Right, okay, turn it off. You call me a fucking Karen, I'll call you a fucking... I'll send you a fucking aubergine. Right. Turn what, it off. Wanna, you, what, what, Turn what, it off trying, what, and get off at the next station. Yes. Just you wait till I get in, over there towards you, young man. <laughs> 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 and scene. Wow. Yeah, you see? You got me riled. <laughs> God. Yeah. Nice song, though, eh? Thank you. Was that you? That was me, yeah. I thought it was Bruno. Yeah, I know. That's what I was going for. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, all right. Turn it off. Right. Goodness sake. Anyway. Anyway. I've um, had a tune going around in my head all day. Go on then. And I wonder if you'd know what it was if I sang it. Go on. It goes. <laughs> Would you know what that was? Do, do. No. No. Oh, I'm so glad. Do you not know what that is? I thought you'd know what it is. Do you know what it is? Is it Abba? No. Zofia knows what it is. It is Gloria Gaynor. I will survive. Oh, God, I knew what that. A stunning bloody counter melody or whatever you call it in the background, giving mm. it welly. And I can't. I heard it this morning when I was walking. The, when I took Martha to walk the dog. When I took Martha to walk the dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Oh dear. Um, anyway, that. Yes, yeah, marvelous. Good tune. 
Good tune. Anyway, yep, carry on. Right, yes. moving on to the nation's favourite game. Oh, Lord. Two Lies and the Truth. Yes. Before we take a break, let's play a classic game of Two Lies and the Truth. I'm going to tell you three things. I haven't heard that. And you have to guess which is the truth. Yeah. I'll give you the answer in part two. You're so kind. Are you ready? Yes. What is a sleep fluencer? <laughs> Are they? Oh. A. Someone who recommends sleep-related products. B. Someone who live streams themselves sleeping at home in their bedroom. C. Oh. Someone who goes to other people's houses to watch over them whilst they sleep. Oh, otherwise known as a psycho. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, <laughs> that sounded Ooh. a bit like a lame page. It sounded a bit like Ooh. a psycho. <laughs> Malcolm. <laughs> anyway. Yes. Okay. Well, a sleep fluencer. Mm. 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 Okay. Well, yep. you think about that. I'll go and have and my bit of chocolate. we're going to go for a break. Yes. And find out the answer for that question. And for <laughs> Mum, Can We Talk? Very good, Arthur. Well Thank done. You. It's Mummy's Boy. Welcome back. Thank you. Before the break, we were playing Two Lies and Truth. Here's a reminder of the question. <laughs> Did producer what? Jack Yeah, he's still that, uh, doing it. Out. Despite, yeah. <laughs> He'll read whatever's on the teleprompter. <laughs> um, are they A, someone who recommends sleep-related pro related products? B, someone who live streams themselves sleeping at home in their bedroom? C, someone who goes to other people's houses to watch over, over them whilst they sleep? Okay. So I really need to get this right, don't I? Because yeah. I've got it wrong the last few weeks. It can't be somebody who goes to people's houses and watches that. It's ridiculous. That is like psycho or stalking at some ridiculous level mm. so it can't be that um somebody who recalls themselves sleeping oh dear god no it's a sleep related it's a. products someone who recommends sleep related product yes. products that is what a sleep fluencer is yes i can now reveal yes the answer yes is yes b no. Yes. No. Yes. Oh, fam. What? Yes. Why? Why do people do this? And why do people watch? As the name oh. suggests. <laughs> oh, I know. Oh. A sleep fluencer or sleep streamer live streams themselves sleeping while <laughs> viewers view them. There are two types of sleep fluencers. Weird and the weirder. <laughs> Sorry. The first keeps things simple, literally <laughs> live streaming themselves peacefully sleeping, sometimes for hours at a time. Usually, usually they'll be sleeping at night time when most people are asleep, giving <laughs> insomniac something to inspire to, aspire to. The other type is a little more disturbing. Oh. Their streams are both live and interactive, meaning they'll attempt to go to sleep, but they'll do so in a room fitted with booby traps that can be <laughs> triggered by paying viewers. Oh, stop it now. What happens depends on how much the viewer pays. Lights might be turned on, loud music blared, and in some cases a sleep fluencer may receive an electric shock. <laughs> it's in ridiculous. other words, viewers will be watching sleep deprivation live in action. That is ridiculous. And if we hit 500 <laughs> likes on our next episode... <laughs> Me and mum will do a sleep live stream. I'm not doing a bloody sleep. I'm not everybody watching me dribble and fart and whatever else one oh. does when... Sorry, can you cut that? <laughs> <laughs> dribble and fart? <laughs> well, everyone does it, don't they? Let's be honest. I don't think... Oh, I love women a good dribble. Fart. We've got a video. So you can <gasps> of see me dribbling? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that is the weirdest thing. Oh, no. Here you go. It's very disconcerting. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> sending him off. I should do it with my lack of sleep. What if I told you you could make $360,000 a year just by sleeping? Sounds pretty good, right? What if people could wake you up whenever they wanted with loud noises and bright lights? Would you still do it? TikToker Jakey Boehm is currently living his life like that. And this is how he's making $30,000 a month. <laughs> I'm in the wrong business. I could do that. You think you could do that? It'd be hell. It'd be so bad for your brain. Well, even if you did it for a month and earned 30 grand, then you True. stop. God, the world is weird, isn't it? The it's world bizarre. is so all over the shop. Crazy. Oh, yeah. 
Right. Oh, oh. Well, I'm never. How long have we been doing this? I'm no closer to understanding what people do on these things. Am I? Well, great. I'm still. No, I mean, I'm still utterly perplexed by most of it, aren't I? I thought I'd have been like, oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, that's what they do. Mm, maybe you're not trying hard enough. I'm trying quite hard. Mm, I don't know. Let's do. So, Mum, can we talk? Yeah, let's. The good side of the internet. Well, sometimes. Shall we dive in? Yes. Question one from Maggie. Maggie. Or Maggie. No. Okay. Hi, Arthur and mother. Love the pod. <laughs> it's the only thing stopping me from losing my mind during the HSC. HSC. High school. HSC. High school certificate. Oh, high school certificate. High school certificate. Oh, sweet pea. So, she's American. No. So, I'm. The no? higher school certificate. Oh, the higher England school. World. It's England and Wales. Is it? Secondary school qualification. Okay. Is it? Yeah. So she's Welsh. England and Wales. <laughs> Let's say she's Welsh. <laughs> she's, don't right. ask me to do a Welsh accent. So I'm no. moving away from uni oh, at the start of next year after going to an all-girls school for all of high school. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have absolutely no riz and I'm quite awkward in general. Oh. oh. Unless I'm blackout. How do I fix this before I go to uni and become a social reject? Oh. <laughs> Oh dear. We've obviously come to a funny bit. Please help. Also, Arthur, please come do some shows in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> she'll love your she'll love your Welsh accent. Oh god. Sorry, Maggie. I've got that really wrong. That's Jack's fault. <laughs> I, didn't, I, I didn't know the HSC was in Australia as well. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did, God. Okay. Oh, bless is... her. But I was so intent on listening to your ridiculous accent, I yeah. wasn't really listening. What was yeah, she so saying? She, she's, she's moving awkward. away from for uni at the start of next year. I have to go to an yes. girls' school for all of high school. Unfortunately, okay. I have absolutely no riz. Oh, I bet awkward. you've got loads of it, Maggie. Mm. It's just waiting to come out yeah. and sock it to everybody between the eyes. Honestly. Sock I bet... that riz. Sock that yeah. riz. It'll come with time. It... Yeah. And there'll be so many people in the same boat, you know. I, I didn't have know. any riz at uni. That's where you develop the riz. Is it? That's where you put in the hard hours. Skibbity riz. Skibbity she's riz. Gonna have, she's going to have skibbity riz, <laughs> I reckon. Yeah. Don't you, Maggie? Yeah. You're going to have skibbity riz. riz. Because... All the way down under. Oh, yeah, that as well. But it, because, it, she, because you've been at an all-girls school, it doesn't mean you haven't got riz, Okay. And the minute you are unleashed on God. the male population of wherever it is you're going, that they won't know what's hit them. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. You right. go for it, Maggie. You go, Maggie. Go, Maggie. Okay. Okay. Question two from Amelia. Mm. Hey, Arthur and Lisa, I need some advice on how to deal with anxiety. Anxiety. Yes. It's like hung, hungover anxiety. Well, don't you know. get hung over, Hobbs. Okay, well, maybe. Moving on. Every time I go out, I wake up in the morning and I'm filled with dread. This part isn't unusual. Specifically about the way I interact with people, especially people. I don't know. Oh, okay. Eh? Oh, and, right. And how I hold myself in a public setting. I usually get quite drunk, but I never do anything outrageous. I try to combat it by thinking about all possible threats to my sanity the next morning before I go to sleep. And then again when I open my eyes, but something always gets me. I'm quite good at breaking the anxiety, causing thought down and rationalising it, but the feeling lingers and renders me practically immobile until the twang of anxiety makes me physically glitch. It's hell out here and I'm hungover now. Anyway, I listen to your podcast nearly every day and you both make me feel less anxious. And I probably listen to your podcast throughout an entire day when I'm hanging. Live, laugh, love you both. Amelia. Oh, Amelia, you don't need to drink this much and get hung over. Mm. You don't need it. You sound like a perfectly sensible and lovely person. Yes. And, and oh God, that's really quite, that's quite weird. Um, so she's worried. she's worried that she's awkward and not very good with people mm -hmm. when she's out and about. So she drinks. Is yeah. that, am I getting that right? And then, of course, she feels better because she's less inhibited. No, and... I think she... 
I think she's. Is that? I think she's. Um, she gets anxiety about how she interacts with people when she's drunk, which is like what most people get, you know. And you're like, oh god, what did I say last night? Oh, I see. Type thing. So I think, like, yeah, the, the, oh, the boring see. answer is just to you stop need to drinking. drink less if it's not worth yeah. it. Yeah. Unless you're having like a crazy fun time. It's not, not worth, worth it. it. Have um, less. Yeah, drink have in less. moderation. Just, just, oh God, easy for me to say, me of the chicken wine. I'm doing mm. no November wine. No, yeah, I am. Don't laugh. I did, no wine November. No, Yes, no wine. No, that's exactly what yeah. I was trying to say. Um, I'm going to do no wine November. I just haven't sure quite decided are. yet. No, I am. You're not going to get drunk with me after my show. London there are show. other things. I can have gin and tonic. Mushroom. Oh, sorry. <laughs> just Not mushroom. Wine. Just wine. Just like, wine. Why, because why? wine is because wine is the thing that I will just keep drinking happily. Whereas I'll only have a couple of gin and tonics and I'll be like, oh, that's fine. I don't need any more. But it's still just alcohol. Like, isn't it? What are you doing it for health? What, what, what are you doing it for? Because I can't sleep properly. I don't sleep properly when I've had wine. Wine makes you than gin and tonics would. No, it makes you go to sleep, and then I w and then I tend to wake up at sort of four in the morning, yeah, and then you that's just it. Replace you, you just yes, I can. I can do no, what I jolly I'm well like. There's no point to it. No, there is because I won't drink as much. If I have a gin and tonic, I will I will only have one or maybe two. Whereas if I crack open a bottle of wine, than mine. <laughs> yeah, but no, they're not. Yes, I have a lot are. of tonic in my gin and tonics. I'm not a great <laughs> what. And a lot of gin. Yeah. <laughs> no, I really, I, I don't actually. Do no, you measure? Look. Do you no. measure the gin? So you just free pour. Yeah, but I literally, I put it over the ice. No, I put it over the ice, and then I, and right. then, and then I have it. And a tall, I don't like any of this newfangled thing and drinking it out of a goldfish bowl. I have it in a tall, thin glass, and I fill up my glass with tonic. I love tonic water. Do you have wine? Every night, mostly. <laughs> often, yes, often we do. But but not at the moment, no. Right. I'm being very good. It's not November yet. I know, but I've still, I, mm. I have, yeah. You it see? will be when this goes out. It will be. It will, it will be. be. Yes, by You'll the time this goes it. out, I'll be midway or at least, yeah, midway between 12 no, days ago. no wine November and I'll be doing very well and you will yeah. all... Praise me. So if you no. see Lisa at any of Arthur's shows, yeah. go up and ask her. Yeah, yeah she's going to come and ask me how it's going. going. She's going through a tough time. No, it's going to be grand. But anyway, so look, if I can do it, um, so can you, uh, Amelia. Yes. Yeah, Amelia, just honestly, you're young and you need to get a grip of that. Mm. Not get. A, I don't mean that in a, in a like, rude way, but I mean... Like mum over here. Or you end up like me. I didn't. St I'm sure we've had this conversation. I never drank until I had my children. <laughs> so it's, it's that's the that's the. I didn't. Well, the odd port in the interval of Phantom of the Opera to help mm. me through, but that was it. I didn't drink till you became my mother. No, so. well there you go. That's because I used to slip it into your milk bottle to try and get you to sleep. God. Just have a little bit of gin in here, dear. Right, moving on. <laughs> Question three from. <laughs> Arian. Arian. E R I A N. E R I A N. Hey, Arthur. Mm. Oh, my God. I just got out of a relationship in August 2021, and this boy nearby kept messaging me. I said I was newly single and didn't want a relationship, and he said, That's fine. So we started hanging out often around November 2021. Then in December, we were both really drunk, and he asked me to be his girlfriend. I said, No. After <laughs> that, I tried to back away from him as he was a bit odd. Oh. However, he had a surprise trip to Bath lined up for one night. So I went. We got drunk again. He asked me out again, and I swear I said no. But he was <laughs> adamant the next day that I said yes. Oh. I swear it's getting to the good part soon. I was then going to Spain for about a month, and he knew this, so I just didn't see him for a while and barely spoke, and he was very angry about this. Oh. My parents, who I was in Spain with, said that because I spent so much time with the two of them, I could invite a friend out, but all my friends are working, so I thought, fuck it. Oh. I'll invite this boy, but say to him he can only come for four days. I tell him, and this boy books two weeks. <laughs> This is where it gets good. On the holiday, he keeps getting absolutely shit-faced, oh. saying how shit my bear is and the apartment and everything. He's complaining Charming. about a free holiday. 
and I was getting pissed off at him. One night, about three days in, he really wants to go to the club nearby. I say, no, I'm tired, not dressed for it, not really feeling it, but he's now got it in his head, we're going, and that's that. Anyway, he knows I'm getting sick of him, so he makes me jealous or something. He goes up to this girl and tries to get with her and kiss her in, the, in, my, in my face. Then she gets annoyed and says she's 15 years old. <gasps> I try to drag him away. The girl's mum comes and screams at him. That's that the girl's 15. Oh, he then tries to hit the mum and fight her off. Oh, my word. The bouncer then drags him out the club. I'm mortified. He, get ba he gets back to his free apartment, throws up all over the walls and the floor, oh, then passes out, so I had to clean it all up. Well, In the morning didn't. at breakfast, I tell him that I'm going to book him flights home for later that night. He's all like, you can't just send me home on my holiday. No, actually, <laughs> it's my holiday, not yours. <sighs> He's then like, my mum wants to speak to your mum. He's an adult. My mum says no to speaking to his mum. And my dad has to grab him by the hand into the car and drove him to the airport. After that, I sent him a message saying I never want to see him again. I see him in our local club back at home once, e once every... Every once in a while. And he gives me the dirtiest looks. He also told his friends I sent him home from Spain, but doesn't tell them what happened in the club. Mm. I stayed away from men for a long while after that. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed. I didn't do a good job of keeping it short, but I tried. Oh, God, you really did. Peace and love. Irian. Ir Ir oh, bloody hell. Well, he sounds like a psycho he, as well, yeah, doesn't he? Just he? They're all over like the, the place. Worst person ever, what really. a nightmare. Tina. That was terrible. That was that really escalated. Well, it did rather. I mean, well, especially lot, it just did a lot of illegal things uh, there uh, in a and couple of sentences. Attacking the mother and everything. Yeah. Um, so I'm glad you decided to stay away from him. Maybe don't just like fuck it. Think you'll invite a boy that you don't know that well on the holiday again. Yeah, maybe that was a bit it's of a not, mistake. It's a bit of a sort of mm. baptism by rookie fire. error. Um, rookie error. Yeah. I, I, I'm, she's not asking for advice. She's not asking which is for just advice. Just as well, um, yeah. but um, but yeah, just don't do just it don't again. Make, yeah, don't make it. You'll find your uh, prince charming who doesn't want to kiss fifteen-year-old and punch mothers. <laughs> we all want to punch mums sometimes. No, we don't. No, you don't. Can't say that. No, You'll be cancelled. I'm surprised I haven't been cancelled yet. I'm sure I've come out with some things I shouldn't say. It's because we cut all the stuff you say that's bad. Oh. I've Fair got enough. a huge, a huge Jack Scott. Have you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Ready enough. to release to the sun. Oh, yes. Oh, dear. That wouldn't be good, would it? No. Oh, okay. Well, thank you. Whatever your name is. I really wish I now knew how to pronounce can we, her name. Can we Google it? Because I was thinking it might be Irish, but it... Irian. 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 Evan. Irian. That's pretty. It is pretty, Irene. Mean. We well, a that time. is the end of what has been an epic, <laughs> epic podcast <laughs> epic. of epic proportions. Yes, epic it... podcast of epic proportions. We haven't done any. Um... <laughs> oh dear, um, we haven't done any. Um... Oh Jesus, tongue twisters for a long time, have we? We no. did those back in the day, mm. and I, we haven't done any. Can you remember any of them? Yeah. Always okay. remember, new episodes <laughs> drop every Wednesday and Sunday. <laughs> and if you're in need of advice, or even just have a question or story that you're desperate for my mum to read, slide into the DMs on socials uh, at Mummy's Boy Pod, or give me a message on WhatsApp on 07822013837. And no matter what the issue, I will ask her. <laughs> Twit. Twat. <gasps> Arthur! Mum. It's mummy's boy.